We've covered a lot of ground, so let's review these basic rules of the road. Always buckle up. Use the two-second rule to maintain proper distance. Proper use of the eyes is essential to an alert, aware driver. Scan side to side and check the horizon. Always know where your best escape route is. At intersections, be prepared to stop. Communicate with other drivers. If you're waiting to turn, keep your wheels aligned to the front. If you're first in line at the intersection, leave some room. Same goes when you pull up behind someone. These rules of the road apply everywhere, whether you're driving in a busy city or out in the country. But there are some definite differences between driving in urban and rural areas. One of the biggest differences is traffic. In cities, busy highways can be intimidating. Which lane should you be in? Let's run through some advantages and disadvantages to each. The fast lane is usually the least congested, but it's the farthest from exits and unless there is a median, there is no escape route to the left. The middle lane has lots of advantages. You have escape routes to the front, to the right, and to the left. The speed is moderate and it's close to the exits. On the downside, however, it's usually the most congested lane and you're easily boxed in blocking escape routes. The slow lane has distinct advantages. Speeds are slower. You can get to exits easily, and you almost always have an escape route to the right. But you're also more exposed to drivers trying to make a quick exit, as well as drivers merging into traffic. So carefully consider which lane best suits your specific situation. Rural areas require some special consideration too. Drivers need to be extra vigilant about proper eye use because there are many more opportunities for obstructed sight lines, especially at intersections. Keep a close eye on your escape routes. You usually can't even consider going to your left, leaving only the front and the right routes. And be extra aware of the possibility of slow moving vehicles. Farm equipment takes up a lot of room when it's on the move. In general, it's a good idea to slow down when you're driving in rural areas. Just as important as obeying the rules of the road is creating the right conditions for driving. While you can't control what others on the road are doing, you have complete control over your attitude and approach to driving. Meet two drivers. Bob is a delivery driver and Sue is a home health care provider. Let's look at the conditions they create in their vehicles. Bob is late. He's in a hurry to get to his next delivery. Uh-oh. Looks like he doesn't have the address written down, so he's going to call to check. Watch out, Bob! Now let's take a look at Sue. Sue is checking her delivery list and taking the time to look for directions before she gets behind the wheel. Taking a little extra time up front to be organized actually saves you time in the long run, and more importantly, reduces your stress on the road. Okay, let's take a look at another situation. Bob's on a long haul. Looks like he's hungry and thirsty. Hey Bob, your phone's ringing. Bob, turn down your radio. How is he going to maneuver all that construction with so many distractions? Watch out, Bob! Okay, Sue's turn. She's also on a long haul. It's important to be able to communicate, so Sue's pulling off the road to make a necessary call and she planned enough time into her schedule to actually sit down in a restaurant to eat her lunch. Way to go, Sue! It's time for our final comparison. Bob and Sue are back on the road. There's a lot of traffic out there to contend with, but Bob appears calm and he's keeping his distance. He's actually slowing down to maintain proper distance. Good job, Bob! Let's check on Sue to see how she's handling the heavy traffic. Oh my, Sue doesn't seem too happy. She seems to be in the grips of road rage right now. Sue, Sue, you need to calm down. Bob and Sue are obviously extremes, but they do present important points about creating conditions that promote excellent driving. Organization is important. Leaving yourself enough time to make appointments and deliveries along with having proper directions makes for a stress-free trip. Cut down on distractions. The less you have going on around you, the better. 
All your attention should be on the rules of the road. And managing your anger in stressful situations is also very important. Remember, there are a lot of drivers out there, but very few professional ones. By controlling conditions in your vehicle and remembering the rules of the road, you'll separate yourself, the professional driver, from everyone else on the road. Jack Williams for Pharmacist Mutual again. By simply watching this video, you've shown that you're willing to go the extra mile for your company and strive to be the best driver you can be. By practicing the principles you've just seen, you will make a good impression on and off the road as a safe, knowledgeable,